guys, it's RGV Awesome here, bringing us our team building video against the Hoopa Hotspurs. <sighs> PDL Week 1. This is by far going to be most likely the toughest match of the entire season. Um, He's just, he's a good battler. Uh, but looking at his team, um, I think that a hyper offense would probably be the best choice here. Um, <clears throat> so that's, that's exactly what I brought. Just major offense with two, two, uh, switching initiatives so I can, uh, hopefully, uh, stop some of his, um, few major offensive threats that I can see. Um, I brought Choice Scarfed Hoopa Unbound, and this thing has so much power. Um, I, you, like, you can run it either way. This time, I did decide to run it physical. Uh, Hyperspace Fury, Drain Punch, Phantom Force, and Gunk Shot just annihilates a lot of his team. Um, hope, hoping to get some revenge kills off. Um, and then switching into one of my two walls that I'll mention later. Um, we have Mustachio, the Alakazam Choice Specs. Um, like I said, Hyper Offense is the name of the game this time. Um, it was either that or I was going to run him for Sash. Um, hopefully, hopefully I won't, um, end up regretting, uh, running him specs over Sashed, but, um, Dazzling Gleam, Energy Ball, Side Shock, and Focus Blast does a lot to his team, so hopefully that will work. Um, our Mega for the week, though, is Destroyer the Metagross. Um, Explosion for that last minute damage, Earthquake, Bullet Punch, and Meteor Mash. I'm I'm really really looking forward to using him. Really hoping that it'll work. I have Bark Bark the Arcanine. He's really there for if he decides to set up, um, like some swords dances or something. His intimidate will uh, lower it down. Um, I have extreme speed substitute Morning Sun and Crunch with leftovers. Um, with how defensive he is, I'm hoping that. I can, like, have a long-lasting sub with um, some Morning Sun action and get some lower defenses on Crunch, which will really, he's, like, yeah, he's there to just cripple the team, my opponent's team, for a little bit. And we have Slifer, the Salamance, Iron Tail, Dragon Claw, D-Dance, and Substitute. Um, oh, I meant to do a choice uh, ban, but Life Orb may work, other than the fact that Substitute Life Orb is not too good of a strategy, but I think, I think I'm going to keep it like that, because I don't want to have to, um, be choiced into Dragon Dance, so that would be horrible, but <clears throat> with Moxie, this thing could destroy, um, it won't last long with the Life Orb sub set, but it should just, like, destroy, he's really just there to break through the walls, um, hopefully I can set up a D-Dance and just sweep and last but not least, we have Flowers. Um, aromatherapy, Synthesis, Leash Seed, and then Dazzling Gleam just for some extra damage because I have to have a damaging move on this thing other than Leech Seed. But I also needed something that could cure the team or that, and that could heal itself. And Leech Seed is just a great move. Um, so there's that. Now looking at my team, if he does bring something that can set up against... Uh, bark bark our flowers it may just be over especially if over 9,000 is taken out and he uh, goes up with speed or like a dragon dance um, I don't think any of his team can learn dragon dance except for maybe can I think Gudra may be able to but I don't see that coming um so let's just let's just hope he that I'm not overlooking anything um because if I am that may destroy me, but overall, I, I like my chances here. Uh, the offensive pressure is just really huge, and if he decides to bring something defensive, I'm just going to crush through him. Um, anyways, you guys stay awesome. I know I will, and I will see you next time.